Welcome back to Sunless Sea. It's time to do what is hopefully the final run to the Isle of Cats to get enough money to buy a new ship. So I'm just going to do the exact same run that I did originally, going down to the Iron Republic to get some fuel for the Empire of Hands, go to the Utter Shroom to... Well, this time instead of picking up Blemigans, I'm going to hopefully collect my reward for propagating them to seven. Because I think that's the amount of propagation you need to get the reward, and I do have seven propagation. So, heck, with any luck, maybe... That alone will give me enough money to buy a new ship. I doubt it, though, because I would need, like, 4,000 Echo. Yeah, it's pretty unlikely, but you never know. So yeah, Iron Republic, pick up the fuel, Utter Shroom, pick up the reward, Isle of Cats, pick up Red Honey, Empire of Hands, drop off the fuel, and then hopefully head back to London and buy a new ship. Not sure if I'm going to get all that done in this episode, but we can certainly try. Alright, let's go as fast as possible. Um, ship is fully repaired, full crew, all that's good. We do need more supplies. Ooh, yeah, there's also one thing I want to do. When I turned in the whole, like... Uh, what was it? Vienna? Like, Vienna Revolution quest at the Cumian Canal? When I turned in that stuff, one of the things they gave me is a crate of human souls. So it's not exactly very nice, but I'm going to go ahead and sell that to the Brass Embassy. Let's give some souls to some demons. 63 Echo. Cool. <laughs> ah, the fizz of them. Like the champagne made from... Like champagne made from puppies. Thank you, dear friend. Champagne made from puppies? What? I, I don't even want to think about that. What does that even mean? How would you make champagne from puppies? It doesn't sound pleasant. It really doesn't sound pleasant. Okay. Let's just get some supplies. Do I need fuel? Uh, no. Twelve should last me enough to get to the Empire... The, uh, the Iron Republic. Supplies. Yeah, I guess I might as well buy more. I wonder if the reward that I'm going to get from the Utter Shroom might be things like supplies and fuel. So I don't know if I want to stuff my hold completely full. I don't have to dump a bunch of stuff. I think 12 supplies actually might be fine. Eh. I'll buy a couple more. And we're off. I really want to buy the new ship this episode, but I have to... I have to be reasonable. It's pretty unlikely. We do have to go all the way across the Undersea and then back. But on the other hand, I don't think we're going to be encountering any new story events, so we might be okay. We'll see. Just gonna pick up a port report here. Poor thing got stuck. Guess we can explore the shore. Remnants of a shipwreck. I think that gives you supplies or oh, fuel. Cool. I'm just going to leave that one alone. I've killed enough of the poor things.
Report, report. Listen for surface gossip. Vision of the surface. Grab the hydrogen. Alright, um, I guess I should probably just buy as much fuel as possible. Yeah. That should last us probably the entire trip, I think, over to the Empire of Hands and back. Alright, let's see what we're going to find in the Utter Shroom. Take it out. Oh, damn it, I didn't slow down before it came at me. Damn. That did some serious damage. Supply, hunting trophy, and one more supply. Yeah, I guess if I want to avoid getting hit by them, I really need to get the drop on him. Unfortunately, it saw me first. It's really important to get that slow, the slow shot in, to slow it down before it starts doing anything. It's very minor boinkage. I just barely touched it. I don't even think it pro can properly be called a boink.
Okay, let's see. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so there is some stuff waiting for me now. Let's get a port report first. A gift and another gift. Psst. Psst. Zegor. Here. Shroom has something for you. Fell long ago. Best elsewhere now. Ray Drenched Cinder. That sounds familiar. Where was that used? That was used for something, and I remember looking at that and going, I have no idea what that is or where you get it. But I don't remember what. Huh. A ray drenched cinder. The shroomer won't touch it with her bare skin. Wise. Nor should you. It's scorched and twisted. It's scorched and twisted the fungus flesh that it lies on. Its cosmogon glow has dyed the air around it. Mother of Mushrooms is grateful, explains the Shroomer. You've cast her far. She gives you a jewel. Ooh, I lost a propagation. Ah, so I guess for every propagation above seven, maybe, you get one of those cinders. Oh, doesn't take up any hold space either. Excellent. Sizzling with Cosmogon light. It has absorbed radiations... Not of this earth. Some of its colors can only be seen in sleep. What a strange, strange thing. I wonder if I've seen it for sale anywhere. Let's check. Search for... Cinder. Nope. Yeah, I know it was used for some quest somewhere, but I really don't remember where. Hmm. Well, at least if I ever need it, now I have it. Let's visit the village. Gained one terror, gained a tale of terror. And we're off. At this rate, maybe I actually can buy a new ship in this episode. Yeah, off to the Isle of Cats. So that means I think I want to keep propagating the Blemigans, then. Yeah, I guess next time I come by here, maybe I'll bring some firkins of Prisoner's Honey. And I guess there's a limit to how high your propagation can be, because I think you only gain propagation when you put a Blemigan down for the first time. And I just lost propagation, but I don't think I can go place... Like, I don't think the slot to place a Blemigan has opened up because I lost Propagation. So it seems like there's a limit. Oh hey, come back here. You want to teleport? Beatrice? There you go. All is... <laughs> when it teleports, you know all is right with the Undersea. It's comforting. The random teleportations into a different dimension of my fellow ships. I can sleep soundly tonight. Man, it is going to take so long to farm this. Because I have even more money than I had before. I'm probably going to do this like ten times. Oh, Jesus. Get a port report. Okay, there's the first one. I'm gonna do the rest and I will be right back. After waiting a painstakingly long time, I now have a crap ton of terror. No supplies, but I do have 13 firkins of red honey. So there's pretty much no doubt I am going to be able to buy that freaking boat. Because that is a whole hell of a lot of money. Let's buy some supplies. Overpriced, unfortunately, but it's better than my crew starving. 
I should be fine. 15 fuel. Um, let's see. We're going to be going to the Emperor of Hands next. Then Conchetto? Yeah, I'm going to be able to resupply a Conchetto. So, in fact, I probably shouldn't, shouldn't have even bought that many supplies. <laughs> kind of a waste of money. Alright, let's head over to the Empire fans. And you know what? I... I want that boat. And I want that boat this episode. And I want to guarantee that I can get this boat in this episode. So you know what I'm going to do? I think... I'm actually going to cut out... My journey back. Yeah, I'm really not going to be doing anything that I haven't done before. Dump off fuel of the Empire of Hands, I've done that. And we'll get a port report there, go to Con Shadow, resupply, port report. Yeah, so I'm going to cut out most, if not all, of the return journey back to London. Because I really want to get that boat in this episode. So, I'm going to cut here and I will be back when something interesting happens. Okay, this is interesting. I'm at the Mangrove College, and I thought I wouldn't be able to gather supplies because of the propagation of the Blemigans. I thought the Blemigans, like, ate up all the supplies and made it so that you couldn't, but it looks like you still can. However, it says unlocked with propagation, the Mangrove College won. And I have won, which implies that this specific gather supplies mission will only occur if you have propagation, which, which makes me think that maybe something different is going to happen this time. Doesn't seem like it. That seems like the same thing that happened before. Weird. Anyway, back to Z. Ooh, hello. I think I can actually take that thing. It's only got 300 hit points. Eastern Angler Crab. Yeah, let's do it. Come in from behind, slow it down. Alright, back it up. Should be able to take him out before he's able to hit me, I think. Keep him slowed. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> Do I dare dissect it? The thing is, if I butcher it, I'm probably... I'm thinking I'm just going to get supplies and stuff like that, and I really don't need supplies. Hmm. Let's dissect it. Ah, I failed. Ten fragments and a hunting trophy. It seems the nightmare has come up again. The sea is bright as milk. False stars above are black on a pitchy bed. Something is watching you. Its gaze unfolds your, enfolds your boat. You are transparent as glass. Flee the nightmare. Turn the helm and flee across the milk-bright sea. This will reduce nightmare strength. If it reaches zero, the nightmare will fade entirely. If you have any restful nights, this will reduce the difficulty. Oh. Okay, I guess I have enough restful nights from all the time I've spent with my family and... Kind of, like, slept in my lodge. Yeah, I don't, I don't think spending time with your family increases restful nights. I think it's sleeping that does. And I've done that, like... Maybe... Three times? Like, two to four times, I want to say. Mostly to get rid of wounds. So I think I have enough restful nights to combat this pretty well, apparently. 100% chance. An escape? The sea churns in your wake. You pull away from the eye into the shallower waters of waking. But a terror clings. Oh yeah, looks like I had three restful nights. Now it's down to two. Huh? Well, my uh, nightmare strength is now zero, so I guess it's gone. Oh yeah, there we go. Nightmare's end. A weight has lifted. Your dreams have passed. That's good. Isn't it? Um. I don't know. Is it? Maybe you maybe you need to have a nightmare to do certain story events. That wouldn't surprise me. 
It does seem like everything, even even something like terror, isn't necessarily strictly bad. Sometimes you need to have some bad stuff to do something interesting with it. Anyway, I've resupplied and all that, so let's head back to London. Good afternoon or evening, my teleporting friend. Are you Beatrice by chance? Well, didn't get to get your name. Anyway, we're pretty much back at London at this point. Oh my god, we're gonna get a new boat. We're gonna get a new boat. <gasps> we are gonna be able to get a new boat, right? 1,300. I've got 13 of these, so that's 13,000, basically. Assuming I don't have to pay the fee. If I do have to pay the fee, then I'm gonna get 12,500 plus 1,300. Yeah... I'm definitely going to get a new boat, but if I do have to pay the 500 fee to pay off the people searching my ship, it's going to be a little bit tight, but I should get a bunch from the port reports. Unfortunately, it's not the event where I can uh, use my Admiralty's favor to get rid of him. Alright, there's the fee. Fuck off. Breath of Relief. Reduce my terror down to 50. Thank you. Collect messages. Okay. Let's sell a lot of red honey. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> I never thought I would have this much echo. 13,000. That is enough for a new boat. And of course we're going to get a little bit more when I turn on my port reports. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, 14, yeah, 1400, that leaves me with a thousand, which isn't a huge margin, you know, it's not exactly a comfortable margin after buying the ship, but it's enough. I'm buying that damn ship, no matter what, I'm, I'm buying it. Let's see, anything else I need to do? So let's uh, pick up an agent. I, <laughs> I tried to use my agent at the uh, Canate, and once again failed, because my veil skill is complete gar garbage. Just really, really bad. Anything to turn into you? Oh, the ray drenched cinder. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's use that. That's cosmogon, isn't it? It's hard to make it out when one's awake, you know. Lovely color, reminds me of uh, crab flesh. Hmm. Ooh, eight hundred echo. Damn. Damn, that's worth a lot. Okay, well now I have uh, about two thousand extra after buying the after buying the boat, so I feel a lot more comfortable. And if you can just keep getting these and keep giving them to the alarming scholar, you could make a lot of money doing that. If you just keep propagating blemigans and then picking up ray drenched cinders. Hmm. I like that idea. I think I need to do some more propagating in the future. But anyway, do you know what time it is? It's time to buy it. It's time to spend time with my family. I'm just kidding. It's time to buy a boat. Alright. Going from the Corvette... Which cost, in total, a measly 4,000. Two. The Mainid class frigate. Total of 15,000 echo. The backbone of the Royal Navy, back when the Navy had a backbone. 
Let's compare stats. So the hole has 450 hit points instead of 200. God, that's such a huge change. Hold capacity 7 instead of 40. 30 more hold, that's, that's big. That's big. That's really, really big. It's going to make a big difference to the amount of stuff I'm able to do in kind of, in one trip, basically. Significantly heavier. By a thousand... something? Pounds? I don't know if it's pounds. A thousand units. Significantly heavier, but it is a bigger ship, so of course. Ten more quarters. Uh, looks like iron bonus is the same, but it also has a mirrors bonus, which is nice. Uh, Veil's bonus, minus five. Unfortunately, I guess because it's so large, but whatever. Oh, and also, I believe it has another slot that I don't have, right? Uh, yeah, it's got an aft slot, and my current boat does not. I keep saying boat and ship interchangeably. Sorry, I think these are ships, not boats. I think boats are smaller. Which means I'm going to have to purchase an aft weapon. I won't complain about that. Okay. Let's do it. Are you ready? Three. Two. No, wait, 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 wait. I really want to savor this moment. I've been using this Corvette. I've been using Charlotte for... Like, almost my entire playthrough, I want to say. At least it feels like almost my entire playthrough. I feel like I've had it for so long. This thing has really served me well. So, farewell, Charlotte. You will be missed. You were a good boat ship. Here we go. Three, two, one, bye! Oh my god, I have a new boat? <gasps> um, give your new ship a name. Maynad? I don't... Sure, let's go with Maynad. I'm terrible at coming up with names. I don't want to be here for two hours, so default name. Go. There we go. <laughs> I have a new boat. Holy crap. Now I can hold more stuff, and I've got a shit ton more hit points. And an aft slot. Hmm, do I want to buy a new weapon right now? I don't have that much money. I kind of want to save this money for doing quests and stuff. I probably should. Ooh. Let's, let's see how much they cost. You're the one with the weapons, right? Oh no, you got weapons too. Oh, these are torpedoes. Hmm. Well, some of them are. Let's see, 1500 aft, forward deck, deck. So there's only one aft weapon there, and it's really expensive. What about you? Oh, these are a lot cheaper. So 600, here's an aft weapon. Hmm. Staggers for 8 seconds. <laughs> a severe disincentive to pursuit. Oh, so it's designed as, like, literally a I'm running away from you, this is designed to slow you down sort of thing. It looks like it, yeah. See, I don't even know if I'm going to use my aft weapon, because the way I do combat right now is to just get behind them and just kind of, like, go in circles. The aft weapon isn't going to be able to fire if I'm doing that. So I really don't know if I need one, to be honest. Hey! <sighs> Excuse me, I mean, it certainly wouldn't hurt to have an aft weapon. In fact, this one is really cheap, and it's not too bad. 24, 24, as far as the damage goes. This one's 22, 22. Crew damage 1, crew damage 1, warm-up time 6. Warm-up time 6, stagger amount 6 seconds, 8 seconds. Yeah, this one's... This one's pretty freaking close. And capabilities to this one. And I feel like I'm never going to use it, so I don't really want to spend too much money on it. Yeah, let's go with that. Sweet. Still missing a bridge thing, but I'm pretty sure the bridge stuff is... It never seemed to be worth that much. That's stuff like this, right? Opticals. Well, you know, I don't, I don't have enough money to be buying this stuff anyway. Not at this point. 
Okay, so let's take a look at what opportunities that opens up. That does allow me to finally easily do the quest where I need to take a Stygian Ivory and Devil Bone Dice to the Iron Republic to get another weapon. And I do believe it's another forward weapon, which means it's probably not going to be better than the Memento Mori. Because the Memento, the Memento Mori is really good, so I doubt it's going to be better. Which means I'm not super excited to do that quest. Um... Ooh, it means I have enough hold space to do all this stuff at King Eater's Castle. Because that required like 40 Stygian Ivory or something insane like that. But I think it also required an element of Dawn, which I don't have and I don't know how to get it. So I don't think I can actually really do that right now without knowing where to get something like that. Let's take a look. I think that should be somewhere here, right? Should be under objectives, I think. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, one Element of Dawn, no idea what it is. One Cask of Sapphires, that I can get. 40 units of Stygian Ivory. Yeah, so it's just the Element of Dawn. If I can find where an Element of Dawn comes from, then I should be able to do that. And if I had to guess... where an Element of Dawn came from, I guess it's probably around the Dawn Machine or the Grand Geode. I don't know what to do there, but it's got to be related to that. After all, I think an element of Dawn would probably come from the Dawn Machine. Seems logical. But I think the most immediate thing I can do is probably the Ventures... The Merchant Ventures Desires quest. Yeah, do not choose this option unless you have 40 units of free cargo space and can reach Avid Horizon. Well, it just so happens now I have the, the cargo space. Yep, and he's got his 40 units of essential cargo. Let's do it. 40 materials for passage. For the passage. Whatever that's going to be. Let us sail when you're ready. All that you've assembled for me, it's here. Treasures too great for this world. Take me north to Avid Horizon. In Void's approach. If you lose the supplies, you can buy more, but they won't be cheap. Oh, I don't intend to lose them. <laughs> it's a very menacing image. It's the same image that the uh, box of angry dream snakes had. What is he going to do at the Avid Horizon? I'm kind of scared. Well, there we go. I've got a new boat. It's a hell of a lot bigger. Let's see how it handles. Whoops. Huh, turns pretty fast. Should we do some large-scale boinkage? Boink. <laughs> yeah, it actually feels like it turns pretty much as fast as the other boat. It feels like it's pretty much the same speed, too, even though it weighs a thousand more units. Look at that. I can shoot pretty much anything around me. My blind spots are tiny. That's so su that's so sweet. Okay, well that is something I've been waiting to do for a very long time. I feel satisfied. I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to take the the adventurer, the merchant adventurer, on his little adventure. Well, probably not very little. On his massive and potentially unterzee-changing adventure to the Avid Horizon.